Hey everybody, how's everybody doing? Uh, this is Ray Ramirez and I'm uh, about to tie a, a fly that uh, I call the Mackle fly. Originally, it was uh, called the no-name fly because it didn't have a name, but I was uh, on my way to uh, a fly tying event and someone asked me, uh, what's the name of this fly? And uh, had to come up with a name pretty quick. And the th reason I came up with a mackerel fly is because I was headed to Houston. I was going to stay with my son in Sugarland. And um, his, uh, his son's name, my grandson, is uh, Max. So I decided to call this fly the macro fly uh, in his uh, in his honor here. And so that's what this uh, fly is. I'm having a little trouble getting my, my beads out of here. Um, I've got a uh, eagle claw, uh, one... on the um on the fly tying uh vice here and uh usually i uh tie them on mustad uh 3407s uh but um on a size uh, 2 but since it's a little bit smaller i thought i'd tie it on a 1 and that's why it's there i also use the uh timco um, uh, can't remember the number now, but anyway, it's a, a little thinner a wire, but this will work out well. And what I'm going to do first is once I've uh, made a little base for the um, on the hook, then I'm going to go ahead and tie in a. Um, B chain eye and I mean um, a dumbbell eye and I can use B chain also and uh, uh, B chains I'll use if I'm fishing the sand where it's uh, where it's fairly uh, shallow water and I don't need for it to sink fast but if uh, you're uh, fishing in uh, a couple of feet of water and you want the fly to get down fast uh, then you might try a uh, a lead lead eye okay now I'm gonna move it back and I'm gonna tie a few threads in one direction and I'm gonna tie a few turns in the other direction okay and get it to to go. I don't know if I'm covering this up or not. Okay. Then what I do is I saddle it. And then I'll put a little bit of super glue. I'll Tell you what, I won't put the super glue right now, but uh, that's uh, usually what I'll do is I'll put a little bit of super glue uh, on the on the threads there, just to stabilize it a little bit. And if you notice, I didn't go all the way to the front, and I left a little bit of silver there. That's going to give us a little bit of room to put. Um, uh, a weed guard or uh, some other material there. Uh, the colors uh, vary quite a bit. And since I, I used a yellow and, and a black thread, I'm going to take some, uh, some olive, if I can find the olive here. Oh, I think uh, 
green actually will work good. White green grizzly. Now I'll go back with the olive, but it's not going to be grizzly. It's just going to be a little strip of marabou like this. And I'm going to take quite a bit off. Just dump some of it here on the Okay, there you go. I've got a little bit of marabou. It almost looks like I'm going to build a, um, a woolly bugger. Um, in fact, let me put a little bit more marabou on this. Make it quite impressive here. All right. That's a good a chunk of, of marabou. Now, marabou is hard to tame unless you take a little bit of saliva and um, going to take about a length and a half of marabou and then tie it in. Okay, kind of like that. Then I'm just going to clip the marabou off and I'm going to bring it back to almost the hook bend. Let's see, right there. Okay, so I got the hook bend. This, uh, in a little bit, it's going to be dry and move around all over, which makes it really, really nice in the in the water. Okay. The uh, next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to put some um, some silly legs. Got some silly legs in here somewhere. Well, maybe I don't. I'm gonna figure out where I left those guys. Ah, there it is. Over the years, you collect a lot of fly tying material, and then you can't find what you want. Okay, since we've got some um, plain olive um, marabou, I've got to put a little bit of, uh, I'm going to put some silly legs that are a little flashy, that have got a little bit of sparkle in them. And so I've got these right here. Okay. I'll put those on in a little bit. Then I've got some little green eyes. And I'm going to put those green eyes on either side. So I'm just going to cut this in half. And now I've got an eye for one side. Okay, I'm going to move it so it's a little close. And then I'll put the other eye on the other side. They tend to splay 
And so I tie them a little loose at the beginning and then I'm gonna tighten them out. But basically, if you see that they're on either side, I'm gonna move these forward. Then I'm gonna trap them in front and those are going to become my weed guards. All right. Those are going to become my weed guards in a little bit. All right. Then I'm going to head back. <clears throat> and I'm going to get some estaz. I'll be right back. Okay, I've got some met metallic uh, root beer for Estaz. I take just a little strip, about this much, and I'm going to wind it in here. So I'm going to put it back. And then this will give it a whole lot of color here coming forward. So here I'm just going to move it in. All right, now here you got to be careful that you don't cut the uh, the thread, okay? And you've got that. Now, you remember these silly legs? Well, I'm gonna put one of those silly legs or the one pair of the silly legs on one side. And I'm not too worried about the, the length right now and the other pair on the other side okay then i'm gonna move them back a little bit and wind them in just a little bit it's gonna create kind of a neck and then it kind of goes forward like that all right, now I'm going to turn this over, trap one on the wrong side. Here we go. Got them both over here on this side. Got these here. And now I'm going to take what I've got left of this marabou and I'm going to create a little wing. So tame it down a little bit. Put it up on top. Trap it. Then trim. Done with the marabou. So we only use one marabou feather. This will kind of cover the threads here. Move forward. And now we're going to crimp this just a little bit. 
and we're going to make a post. Okay. And if we want to, we'll just clip it just above the um, where the hook point is. And we've got it done here. That should be probably enough to get us through. I, I don't put a weed guard when I'm fishing flies that are in the sand, uh, since there's not a whole lot of weeds there. Uh, then I'll just um, tie it off, cut it, and then I'll might even put a little bit more. Uh, super glue or something up front here uh, sometimes I'll uh, I'll use let me take it off of here you can kind of see it a little better all right and that's the mecco fly of course because the eyes are uh, forward down I mean down toward the bottom it'll keep it writing hook up all right and all of this marabou just floats in the water nice little eyes okay that's it